embarrassing snooker moments that nobody talks about. Starting with number 15, Marco Fu's roller coaster of a skill shot on the black, followed by a shocking miss on a simpler red while fully stretched. Fully stretched. Oh. <laughs> that was such a tough cutback. With big, oh, oh. was that a kick? Or did it just... six. Number 14 delivers a comical blunder courtesy of Neil Robertson. He not only missed the red he was targeting, but also saw the cue ball take flight off the table. So he's playing more power now. Oh dear me. Up on Sangam, four. Well, that's where the cue ball finished. Just checking the tip. Sometimes when you play a shot like that, you can just chip it. Trying to put so much power in it. And, uh, didn't cue that well. At number 13, Ronnie O'Sullivan attempted a double shot on the brown, but to everyone's surprise, he ended up potting the cue ball. Well, like oh, what on earth is oh, done my there? Goodness. Oh, no. So merciful. Well, it just shows you he thought of. For number 12, we have Neil Robertson and Robert Milkins switching seats at the referee's request, leading to a humorous exchange of glasses and bottles. <laughs> well, the referee is telling him, uh, excuse me, guys, you're in the wrong seat. I don't know whether that would uh, affect the scoreboard any, you know. Imagine making a 100 break and they give it to the other man. <laughs> Is this your bottle? Yeah, that's my glass. Uh, that's that's your glass. Yeah, yeah Tommy Cooper would do a routine, would not he? Jumping on to number 11, Yang Bing Tao found himself in an embarrassing situation when he aimed for a straight red, but had a miscue with the cue ball. <laughs> What's happened? What was that? Golf, please. He's head up in the air. It's cute. At number 10, we have Mark Williams, who made a bold promise before the World Snooker Championship. He vowed that if he managed to secure his third victory, he would hold his post win press conference in the nude. Congratulations. World champion for the third time. Those are just the bare facts. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? To be honest, a little bit uncomfortable at the minute. <laughs> but um, I, I won the wall of towel, I ordered up far you and I had to put the towel around otherwise I would have just walked in crying. But I'm over the moon. It's just what a match to be involved in. I, I mean, I missed an easy pink to win it. And I don't know where that break came from in the last frame. It's probably one of the best breaks in the press I've ever had in my life. Now let's move on to number nine. Ashley Carty faced an unfortunate blunder while aiming for the yellow as he unexpectedly potted the nearby black ball. Wow. Oh. You're kidding me. Sure, you are kidding me. You just cannot be playing the yellow anywhere near the vicinity of the black. He can't believe it. Three ball. Well, it's a rookie mistake. Yeah, you, you should be stunning the yellow up the other end of the table, leaving the cue ball to the side cushion. They shouldn't be going anywhere near. Number 8 captures the moment when Mark Allen pots the last black of the frame, which was barely hanging at the pocket, but embarrassingly pots the cue ball with it. So this has got to be played absolutely dead weight. Wow. Or if you don't, you do that. Jamie Clarkson. Amazing. I know he didn't want to play it, but... He had to. Before we move on to number seven, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Number seven features Tom Ford attempting a brown shot, but accidentally putting the blue ball with the cue ball, leading to an embarrassing foul. Foul. Oh, <laughs> Big shot coming up for Chad Trump. Ball in hand. Foul. Stepping into number six, we witness a comical mishap as Mark Selby mistakenly contacts the pink ball, 
thinking it's a free ball. Oh. Oh. Hey. Well, of course, he thought it was a free ball. Mark Selby has thought that was a free ball. That's why he's taken the pink as the free ball. He just realised that a free ball wasn't called. I was wondering that as well. At number five, Anthony Hamilton fouled by hitting the white ball, but Ronnie O'Sullivan granted a reshoot, resulting in a hilarious conversation between them. Oh, wow, and Hamilton, how about that? It's feathered the white. What about that? From there? From there? Can you put it back? Wow, you're back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Not there, isn't laughs> At number four, Kyron Wilson had an embarrassing blunder. He missed a simple red to the centre pocket, and it went right past. Oh, what a moment. Kyron Wilson. What a moment. Wow. It just shows you the chemist in him. He can't believe it. He's in shock. In the third position, Barry Hawkins unintentionally makes the cue ball jump over the red he intended to play, resulting in an embarrassing moment where he even checks his cue tip. It's simple and very precise. But maybe that wasn't. Well, he'd, he'd be a bit anxious. He'd look at the tip there. When you miss cue like that, you get a bit worried about taking a little piece out of your tip. Wow. Don't see it very often. As we move on to number two, Jack Jones successfully potted the blue ball, but things took an unexpected turn. Dizislava accidentally fumbled the ball while trying to place it back in the middle, causing a bit of chaos on the table and disrupting another shot. And finally, rolling on to number one. Yan Bing Tao sets up a snooker against Sessa, but a surprising moment unfolds as a glass shatters, stealing the spotlight. Виден был желтый и для атаки, но Бинтау не стал играть. Не видел выхода на зеленый, а биток-то привел четко за черный. Ой, 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 здесь небольшая заминка будет. For more of the best snooker moments featuring all the top players around the world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.